Brick buildings and hand-rolled cigars put Ybor City on the map. And what better way to honor Hispanic heritage than by visiting the last remaining hand-rolled cigar factory in the United States? Of course, it's right here in Tampa. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska takes us on a trip back in time. When we hear about Ybor City, the first thought that comes to mind might be Cuban sandwiches, but also cigars. It's known as the cigar capital of the world, and this is why. J.C. Newman Cigar Company, they're still rolling these cigars the same way they did by hand 100 years ago. What's the technique? Well, usually it's different technique, technique to make cigar. For example, in this particular part is the bunches, which is the first step. It's uh, two different types of uh, uh, put to binders. and. In this case, for example, we use a different type of filler. Luis Gonzalez is a master roller. In his home country of Cuba, at 18 years old, he went to cigar rolling school. His grandpa grew tobacco. That piqued his interest to learn how to blend different types of leaves for the perfect cigar. You need to make sure every single cigar will be the same. So for our culture, it's very important because Tampa was found for the, for the rollers. I mean, like I say, 100 years ago. So that's it's a privilege for us to keep doing the same thing. Gonzalez is a master roller at J.C. Newman Cigars, the last remaining cigar factory in the country. During its peak, Tampa cranked out 500 million cigars per year. Gonzalez makes 80 to 100 per day. Practice and consistency are key. Depending how fast you are with your, with your hands. You know? Is it really hard? Well, when you start making cigar in the rolling school, first is, is to make one kind of one specific size, just to learn how you blend that kind of size because you need to make sure the gauge and the size of the cigar need to be the same when you make one or you make the number 100. In Tampa with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.